Welcome back to the top apps of May 2018 with the Galaxy S9 and a sweet looking dbrand skin. This month I have one wallpaper, six apps and four games, let's check them out. Lenio Icons is the wallpaper app for this month. Even though it is an icon pack filled with over 2,000 icons, it still has 15 exclusive wallpapers that look amazing. Most of them are colorful, filled with tons of shapes, and fit in well with the icons it comes with. There's even some that are dark themed just in case you're not a fan of bright wallpapers. The app does cost $1.99, which is not a lot to bargain for, but thanks to the developer, I'll be giving away 30 promo codes so you can get it for free. Just follow me on Twitter, I have two men, and I'll be giving them away in a few days. Stop Ad is the first app on this list. This is the most effective ad blocker you can install on your Android device. It will block ads on all major browsers and applications, and it does this by setting up a local virtual network interface. This means no more annoying banners, video interruptions, or other intrusive advertisements. On top of that, it will block ad, social media, and data trackers for better privacy, and it will also steer you away from malicious websites that may give you malware. Within the app, you can see how many ads were blocked, how much data you saved, and how much time you saved just by having this app run in the background. If you have a game that requires you to watch ads to gain more coins, you have the option of whitelisting specific apps or websites. And the app is lightweight and has no negative impact on the battery life or device performance. For me, StopAd has blocked over 13,000 ads and saved me a whole hour since the first time I installed it, which was a little over a month ago. Not only does it work for Android, but it also supports Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android TV. It's free to download, so I'll drop a download link right below that like button. Next up is One Clock. This is a clock app that has a feature that I love and haven't found anywhere else. It will automatically set multiple alarms that are a few minutes apart. The number of alarms you wish to set and the minutes between those alarms can be customized in the settings. On top of that, it includes a timer and stopwatch, and the overall design is very similar to Google's clock app. So if you need multiple alarms to wake you up, then one clock is your best bet. In my last video, I explained how OnePlus's new navigation gesture, which is very similar to the iPhone X gestures, could replace the traditional nav bar on Android in the future. Well, with OnePlus gestures, you can try out these new controls on whatever phone you have. The trigger will be at the bottom, right above your nav bar. To go to your home screen, you have to swipe up from the bottom center edge. To go to your recent page, you need to do the same thing, but this time pause in the center of the screen. And lastly, to go back, you can swipe up from the left or right side. Of course, you can customize these gestures and add even more. If you have root access and exposed framework installed, then you can also hide the navigation bar while the gestures are enabled. So if you want to try out the future of navigation or have a bit more screen real estate, then try out OnePlus gestures. If you're the type of person who likes to follow multiple news outlets or likes to read a lot, then check out Catch Up. This app will show you the front page of several popular services so you can quickly see the top posts of the day. These services include Hacker News, Reddit, Medium, Product Hunt, Slashdot, Designer News, Dribbble, and GitHub. It's in no way trying to be an all-purpose client for each of these services, just a small app for at a glance details. Next up, I have Summarize. For those of you who read online articles, you know that there are a few websites that overpopulate their readings with ads or other interruptions, but by sharing the web link to Summarize, you can read any article without any ads, pictures, or links. Just plain text. Think of it like an Instapaper or Pocket Competitor, but much more simplistic. It's completely free with no ads or in-app purchases, so it's definitely worth it. Lastly, I wanted to show off a new watch face for Wear OS called IO 2018 Watch Face. The title pretty much says it all. The font and animations follow Google's IO event theme, and for the most part, the design is pleasant and eye-catching. I just wish it had the option to customize the background or change the time format, as it's only in 24 hour form. Still, it's not a bad watch face. Now before I move on to the games, I wanted to thank dbrand for sponsoring this video. I always use their skins on every one of my devices as it gives the phone a bit more grip and makes it stand out from the crowd. The one I'm using on my S9 Plus is their black camel skin, while the one on my S9 is their red dragon. Both of them look amazing in my opinion. When you move the camo skin around, the pattern changes, while the dragon skin provides a nice texture, making it seem like you're touching a reptile's skin. I recommend taking a look at their selection of skins, as they have some really nice ones that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Switching it over to the games, getting over it with Bennett Foti is first on this list. It's the same version found on Steam, so it's just as hard and frustrating to beat. You'll be playing these games for hours on end, only to find that you've completed a small percentage of the game. The controls, they're alright, graphics are really good, and it's $4.99 on the Play Store. 
So if you want a bit of a challenge, then check it out. Looking for a simple shooter? Try out Mr. Gun. In this game, you're a gunman who has to shoot the other opponent first as you make your way up a flight of stairs. As long as you tap on the screen at just the right moment, you will shoot your opponent and then move on to the next level. It may seem pretty easy, but if you miss just once, then you have to start from the beginning. And at the end of each level, you'll be fighting a boss who will take a couple more hits to kill. Plus, you can get new weapons that shoot more bullets to make it easier as you move on. Flip the Gun is another shooter game, but it's not like the rest. In this game, you need to make your weapon fly upwards by using its recoil. You also need to collect the green bullets, or you will run out of ammo and your gun will fall. As you collect more coins, then you can get better weapons that aren't so heavy, have a better fire rate, and more ammo. The graphics are also really good, making this a great time killer. Finally, the last game is Adventure Llama. Your objective is to get the llama to collect all three parts in the level. What makes the gameplay difficult though is that the llama never stops moving and it only changes directions when it hits anything in its path. So you have to time his jumps and glide just right to avoid falling into a deadly water or running into other dangerous objects. I definitely recommend you try it out. Well, those are the top apps of May 2018. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like on this video and let me know what apps or games you would like for me to feature in the next episode down in the comments and I may give you a shout out. Don't forget to check out Dbrand's website for some awesome skins and follow me on Twitter at HowToMan to get a chance at winning a promo code to lend you icons. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!